Thanks for staying with us. So we're still discussing our previous topic, and Tokwe was going to say something. Yeah, there were a few things that I, I feel like we should discuss. For this story to come out after he had done it for nine women, we probably wouldn't have heard if the last two did not revolt or report. So when we don't talk about it or report cri crimes, we don't report a crime, we don't report criminals, we don't prosecute them, we're, letting, we're enabling them to perpetrate the same crime with others. So she did it to the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, until they got to the sixth. And now is the last, these are the last two scenarios that we're getting to hear about. We need to prosecute faster. Um, one of our actors, Empress in Jama, was caught in this kind of thing with a man who has done it for someone else in Nigeria, done for several women abroad. It was because she now made her own story public that he's now get, he got prosecuted. And the prosecution took place with the drama that happened in his own country, Liberia. We need, women should not feel vulnerable, like somebody has posted my nude picture. I know it might seem easier for celebrities to say, post it, I will take it in my full chest. And for younger women or for women that have younger children, they feel bad that you cannot, I don't want, you to, I don't want that kind of thing outside. So they would hide the reality of what has gone on. If you find that in that situation, please prosecute and ensure that the person gets um, the full justice so that they would no longer be able to do the same thing to other people as well. Okay, so I think that's a good way to wrap up on that because um, it's important. Um, thank God for Black Diamonds Foundation. They're the ones that brought this to the fore and they're pushing, they're pushing it and we must give them the support they require to ensure this man is prosecuted for what he has done. Um, there was another story that caught our attention from the um, Uniport VC. Did you guys see that video? Mm. Of, um, Uniport VC where he was um, speaking to a young girl who was indecently dressed and he was asking for her details because he wanted to dismiss her for the inappropriate dressing. And then for those of you that have watched the video, I'm not sure if our producer will be able to play the video for you. But the VC, obviously, the Vice Chancellor, uh, Vice -Chancellor of the Port Harcourt, University capt was capturing a viral video asking his aides to get the details of a student who was indecently dressed. During the confrontation, the VC noted that the female student told him that she's comfortable how she's dressed. Um, he didn't like her, uh, her dressing. During the confrontation, uh, the VC noted that the female student told him um, about, um, you know, so well, he found what she said disrespectful. And based on that, he asked for her dismissal. He wanted to get her details. But what are your thoughts on this? You know, because many have seen this from different sides. First of all, university um, is adults that attend university, not children. So these are 18-year-olds at least who are deciding to dress up the way they choose to dress up. The VC is accosting her, obviously, in public. Um, how does she feel about that? And her response to him was, I'm perfectly comfortable with what I'm wearing. He found that disrespectful, and he was asking her for her to be dismissed. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think what she wore, I'm not sure if our producer can show that video, but what we saw was, uh, I would say bomb shorts. 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 Yeah, it wasn't not a bomb shorts. shorts. Wasn't shorts, yeah. above, then, the yes, above the knee shorts, and then possibly crop top. I think she was wearing. I yeah. saw was it, there, was a, yeah. there was a black yeah. cord, so I know there was a crop top. Yeah. But I mean, it was done in your proper shoes. So he felt that. <laughs> proper shoes. <laughs> and she didn't wear, he was wearing stilettos, a different matter. So that's your <laughs> sense shoes there. <laughs> but, he felt that it was improper. What, what are your thoughts? Let me come to... Okay. You want to start? Yeah. Yes. Um, if organizations, corporate organizations, have dress code, uh -huh. dress code policies, I think it's just important that every school should have. If they have not had before, today is a good day to want to create one. Because if there's no policy, it will be unfair. I, I feel um, the decision to want to dismiss her is an overkill if there's no dress code policy. That's one. Number two, I have a huge problem with her response. I feel like... Um, he asked her, so he saw her, he didn't like the way she looked, and then he asked. So the mere fact that he was asking you shows that he didn't just see her and say, bundle this girl, throw her out of this place. And when they say, why? He said, because I don't like the way she dressed. But he was fair enough to say, why are you dressed like this? So her response was inappropriate, and I guess her response triggered the overaction of, uh, I will dismiss her, I'll do that. So I think um, um, for people in that capacity, we've got to learn to, to act professionally. So he could have handled that differently, mm. and she will still get punished and it will serve as a deterrent to so many others. The question she, there is, yeah. she was speaking the truth, mm -hmm. comfortable, she's actually comfortable. We teach children to speak the truth. Yeah. Why are we now saying that this girl is is being rude somewhat was to she? the VC? Was she? No, was she, she you're not, we, we, okay, yeah, we teach women and children to be able to Ex express themselves well and I think that 
expressing yourself well is not a problem. Um, you're not meant to dress the way you feel comfortable. You're meant to dress appropriate for where you are. So it's not what I like, I feel good, why can't they carry their eyes and look away? And most schools actually have a, a, a template that for dressing. They might not define every, what every unit of item you should wear is, but most schools expect you to dress, cop, um, um, dress decent. Now, decent, like Mariam said before the show, that what I'm wearing, somebody might say, oh, he's exposing all my hand. And that is not, somebody might look at it and say it's not decent enough. But we all sort of have an idea of what decent should look like in a school setting. When I saw what she wore, if it was a crop top, if it wasn't a crop top, I wouldn't think it is indecent. And then there's some things you get away with, with body types. There are things I can get away with wearing that Mariah cannot get away with wearing it because of our body type and the way our, our, our body is structured. So I might wear the same thing you wear, and somebody will look at you and say, Mariah, you are just indecent. And on my, on my own body, it does not look in any way indecent. That might also play because when I saw the shape of the gear, the backside was saying? arranged very well. Oh, she had shape. <laughs> just looking like, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she had shape. And so um, for me, I don't personally feel like what she's worn was indecent if it was a proper top, if it was crop. Okay. And the, um, head, the VC raised issues with her to say, what you're wearing is indecent. I would say that she also didn't understand how to respond oh, in a form, like a proper but way. But do you like, think the VC also knew how to speak? I think, I think, I thought he was a bit brash. I mean, there's a way you I talk agree. to, you know, and it's almost But, like, but it is a common was, thing in Nigeria. No, it's, it's a Nigerian thing where you just see somebody who you are supposed to speak Men over. Men in power. You, yeah. Have you seen police but investigating like, women? Have you seen police when they, when they bring a woman out, they're like, oh, we went to check a criminal's place and we saw one woman, the, the video came from Ibadan, yeah. and they were like, so you, this, you, you are, how can you, so how old are you? Why are you in this house? Yeah. Well, are you sleeping with him? He's giving you money, Abby. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you were recording her. She's not a criminal. You just met her in the house of someone you are alleged as a criminal, and yet you do that video and you post it. The same way they did this video and post it. We need to start prosecuting all these people when they do these kind of things, yeah. so that they will know that it's not normal. Speaking brashly. Yeah, <laughs> brashly, yeah. I'm doing a video recording my face. Mm. Uh -uh. The, the, okay. your thoughts, so Mariah. first of all, I like how she's dressed. <laughs> Definitely, I don't think it's indecent in my opinion. Well, just uh, I, I brought it up because I was going to say that one thing with decency or indecency is that it's quite subjective. Yeah, you know, it depends yeah. on where you are, and so everyone has sort of there's a general code of dressing that you have depending on what part of Nigeria that you are in. Some people will look at. Um, um, uh, what I'm wearing right now, I say it's too short. Another person think it's just fine. I remember my mom and my husband used to have that when I would dress a certain way. She'd be like, "Oh, you're a married woman," and my husband would be like, "I like it. That's how I like it." You know. <laughs> so she didn't understand some of the things. So if we put that aside, right? So we understand that these people are coming from different places, how they dress and how they are comfortable different with, generations. and it's not looked at where they are coming from as indecent or inappropriate. We need to understand that Nigerians come from different homes and different um, cultural backgrounds and just different um, influences. We need to understand that. Now you come to a school, and Ronke, that was where I was headed to about co um, a dressing a dress code in schools. We are going to constantly have this back and forth. So just lay it out. What do you want the students what to wear wrong? in what your school? Right? Lay it out. Do you want them to wear blazers? Make sure you're wearing long trousers. I know for law students, you always hear that for law students, they are meant to wear black and, and white, white formal. proper uh, formal skirts below your knees, trousers. And they, you, I have never heard where they caught a law student dressing indecently because they have given you a template. Very, you very know what clear. To do. But if the other ones are left to choose, they will dress how they are comfortable. What, what so we're mean? going to, con so it's, this conversation cannot, we cannot keep putting people's children on social media and showing us, insulting Brandishing them and them. shouting mm -hmm. at them. If they do not think that they were doing something wrong in the first place, mm -hmm. if you have a dress code, please let these children know um, up front. And then when you speak to them, you can say, this is not according to our dress code. And that her response will be different. Because um, there's another thing I'm thinking. So um, an adult male comes and meets a girl and says, why are you dressed like this? Young girls see it all the time. I don't know if she was aware that that was the VC. You're walking on the street. There was a video. A girl was walking on the street. One man walking on his own. He does not know them from anywhere. Going to go and you, drag her. Look at the way you're dressed. Dragged her. And at first of all, at first she thought, you know, you're, you're surpassing your boundary. I don't know you, you're a stranger. Why are you coming into my personal space? So she sort of tried to brush him off with her response. Like, you know, you're rude, so get a rude response. He followed her and almost made like, called like a crowd around her. 
and broke that girl's confidence. I saw as he broke her confidence. They made her kneel down in front of him. He stood in front of her and he placed his hand. And where do we get off? He placed his hand on her head to break the spirit of the way she was dressed. He has never met her. He doesn't know her from anywhere. It can only but happen in Nigeria. To enter it her can only <laughs> and determine and tell her. And and the spirits. And even spiritually, as Nigeria has placed his own hand so on her head. So that is where I want us to take this conversation to. Because what should the VC have done? What could he have okay. done better? Where you see a girl, call her privately or say, see me in my office or have somebody follow you guys to where you have a conversation. Embarrassing her in public, saying, I'm pointing, putting your hand in your pocket. Remember, see his posture. Mm. I'm pointing at her. What you're doing is you are intimidating this yes, girl. intimidating. And, and what that does, it breaks your spirit. Because she's still a young, she's a growing adult. Mm -hmm. These are things that will be, that, that is normal to us in this part of the world. Mm -hmm. Imagine a young girl travels mm -hmm. to maybe U.S., mm -hmm. sees her cousin in university, wearing bumps and shirts, walking around, you know, with her friends in school. And she comes back to come, come back home and say, you know what, I'm You know, I'm a good lawyer can I'm call it harassment. And, yeah, it's, yeah, it can be harassment. A, a, a so good lawyer can. you come in and then you saw, and you feel that I'm just young. But let me come to you in a second, but let me have this call. Good morning, Yakub. Thanks for calling. Yeah, good morning. Right? You're alive. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah good morning to everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, Miriam said something now. Uh, I don't know, maybe the school has a uh, dress code. If the school does not have dress code, I think uh, the CC has called the lady, and then uh, he asked her, that, why did you dress like this? I think the response from that lady is it's not good at all. Because uh, if you know that he's talking to an elderly man, if it is a man, because you are not just come to university to come and learn something, and then you stay there to, to, to learn more as well. Even though you dress that in your home, where you are coming from, you know you are in public place, yes, you may comfortably dress it in life, but consider other people. Consider that you are in university, and then the city, the city of the school, Talking to you and then your response is like that. But the question now is that in our law, does he have the right to express the lady? That's the question. If the CCC does not have that right, or in our law, to so have capacity to expel any students from the school, mm -hmm. I don't think he, I don't think that, that can happen. I don't think right. so. But right. uh, for me. Thank you, Yakub. So, Yakub is comes your own Yakub is a Muslim. Mm -hmm. um, and any woman within their setting have already an idea of what a decent or what they would define as a decent outfit, exactly. which is totally different from another household mm -hmm. that is not that is Christian or even another household that they didn't have a, they didn't even, they've never been to church before. Mm -hmm. They only go to church on 31st of December and that's all. Oh, so, or they don't even go at all. They don't go. So for them, I'm free. You're coming to school and you're trying to, everybody, there's a level playing and an expectation, but you're dealing with different people. So if you don't define it very well, everybody would interpret it to what their background is. Putting that aside, the VC um, comments, you know, when, when you were talking, I said, the VC could be charged for intimidation and harassment because the VC said, bring her matriculation number, she will be expelled. And what, he, there was an emotional reaction to a factual situation. Take a picture of her outfit. Usually, if anybody is expelled from the school, there's a board review, a disciplinary board review that will look at it, listen to what she said, and say, based on this investigation, we believe she should be expelled or not. But when you make that statement, it even waters down your position at that point in time. I have an, a staff. She's been with me for about, she just got confirmed last month, about four months now. And doing her work, closing sales, but she's Gen Z of Gen Z. <laughs> like... Some days I come to the office and I look at her and I'm like, Wonji, did she, did her parents see her when she left the house? Her dress. Like, her dress. She comes to the office wearing all so, um, the kind of things you see, when you see Gen Z dressing on Instagram, I had to go and check how they dress up. So when we now confirmed that, we had to now have a conversation that, um, um, sweetheart, at this point in time, you've done your three months and we were thinking maybe because you will see the spirit of our organization and how we dress, but it's like you did not see it. Mm -hmm. She, but she didn't. She's probably looking at these bush people. Eh. <laughs> so for her, she was coming dressed in her own way and she was so comfortable. Then one day she said she's cold. I say, Auntie, you'll be cold. What you are wearing leaves nothing that will not make you get cold in the AC. So based on our conversation, she's now understand. She doesn't understand what is appropriate to wear in, the, in an office. She never that knew. Why, okay. That is why. That is why. We didn't I mean, have an HR. Know, but see, so going now, back to this, that's why a VC. She's using it as a learning curve. Yeah. You, we, every adult 
must see these opportunities as a teaching yes, opportunity. Yes, and the school. The school. <laughs> so, use it so, as an opportunity. So we see, to... Exactly. So okay. we need to change our thinking. Yeah. It's not about pushing punishing. down and talking yeah. down, punishing. Mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's, that's what we're used yeah. to here. Okay. It's about corrective. So just like Yakub said. Right. Is, Sorry, uh, let, me, let me pause you for a second because I know you wanted to jump in. Okay, yes, yes. So I want to defer a, a bit. Um, and I want to assume that was a primary school setting because hmm? imagine if we had a party in school and then parents sending their children with all sorts of people. You just see that it's only the front that is showing, there's nothing at the back. Some people wear bomb shots, you know, and it's very, very important that these things start from the foundational level. So children mm. know what is acceptable and not acceptable. Yeah. So I'm assuming that even if there's no dress code policy yeah. and you see your VC approaching you, it's just like eating, where you, just eating openly. And somebody says, why are you eating there? I say, I'm hungry. I'm hungry shouldn't be the right response. I'm mm. hungry should not be a response. Mm. So you see your VC approaching you. Courtesy mm. demands that you get up. Why are you dressed this way? Oh, I didn't know it was wrong. I understand. Okay, you I'm going to pause it. you. That's an interesting angle you took us. Let me take this call. Inka. Oh, I'm so oh. sorry, Inka. Please forgive me. She brought an interesting angle. And it sounds very more like a Yoruba culture than a secular culture. Let me, let, me, let me explain why. Because I hear you. You're right. We were looking at it culturally. Yeah. Because I'm hungry. That's why you're eating that food. Because I'm hungry, sir. There's a nice way of saying it. I'm actually very hungry. Mm, there's a way you say it. There's a tone office. you say it that might not be seen as rude. Mm. When you say I'm hungry, that's you know, there's a way you say it, okay, ah, actually, so I'm actually very hungry. Yeah, so there's a way you say that, perfect. you won't come out across a room. But the point is that it depends on how you look at it. For some, some people from different cultures and backgrounds yeah. will not see it. For them, they, they, I am hungry or I am comfortable with what I'm wearing and I'm okay. Yeah. It, it depends on your background. So it depends on how you're looking at it, though. Yeah. I will need to so find that's out. And this okay, background is not even your home. Yeah, but yeah. this is a it's university. Not it's a university. You remember, yeah. just, um, just using your scenario let's just say that this is someone who's coming to the school and they see people eating at different parts of the school anyways and no one has called them out for mm -hmm. it and maybe there's no reg well known or maybe there's a cafeteria but nobody really uses it or anyone can eat anywhere it has never been a problem and then someone approaches you the first thing you're thinking is you're not really thinking that they're asking you why are you not eating at the cafeteria you're just likely wondering okay where's this leading i'm hungry yes you know it's it, it does not say to you, why are you eating there? Don't you know you have a cafeteria? It's different than why are you eating? What are you eating? Are you eating there? Mm. Like, okay, so there's what, an what's the problem? So you have to explain yourself. Mm. You are dealing with adults from different places. Places. We're not, not saying children. I was going to say, and, and um, really you adult, talked adult. about you come to school for moral guidance as well. It's not just for the academics. But also remember, as we said, you're supposed to teach it. Yeah. Right? So let's just say this Your person actions. was unfortunate and yeah. did not get the proper home training. But fortunate enough to be able to come into your institution, there's an opportunity for you to teach someone. So if that person was said to, what, you're, what you've won is indecent yeah. and is not allowed. As you know, there's a code of dressing. Yes. And you have dressed wrongly. And the person is now even more rude or says, well, I don't care, I'm comfortable. Now you're dealing with someone who, was, um, who is being rude. But sometimes I feel that we, do, we, we, we try to create a scenario where someone should fall. You're, you want somebody to mm. make a mistake so that mm. you can punish. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I've come here, the police officer stops you. He's not coming to teach you. He's coming so that you will fall and then you will yeah. go and meet him. <laughs> so you it's a mentality fine. change that we're asking for. So it's a, it's a good conversation because we're yeah. seeing different perspectives and I, and I like it. Yeah. But you see, it's an opportunity for us to see that in a university setting, everything, your actions, your words, is a lesson to the students that are there. Yeah. So as a VC, yeah. your approach should be different. Yes. Mm. All right, let's go on a break. When we come back, we're bringing our guests. We have to wrap up on this. Thank you so much. We're bringing uh, our chairman, Omagege. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned, your view will be right back.